guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany for those of you who are new, so welcome. Today I'll be doing a tutorial using the, I think it's pronounced Alamar Cosmetics um, palette. This is her first one. It's the, gosh, I am not good with these names, but it's her Volume 1 Eyeshadow Palette. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. It's her yellow one. She only has two palettes out right now. Um, I did get this in a boxy charm like months ago, and to be honest, I never really played with it until the other day. Um, it just sat on my shelf, and I wish I would have played with it sooner because, oh my gosh, the quality of these shadows are amazing. Um, I wish I would have used it sooner. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. They retail for $28 on her website. She also sells some brushes and things. I definitely want to pick up her other palette because, like I said, I do really enjoy this. and I think it's super fun, especially once spring and summer comes around, but I don't care. I just kind of play with whatever. Like the other day on my Instagram, I did a look with this palette with like orange and blue and it was so pretty. But anyways, um, before we get into it, I'm going to mention that I did do my updated foundation routine right before filming this. So it will be the video before this. If you haven't already seen it, go check it out. Be sure and subscribe to my channel and we will begin the tutorial. Alright, so to start off, I'm going to go in with my Morphe M433 mesh. And I'm going to dip into this shade called Coco Taxi. Ooh, if I can hold this, it's kind of awkward, but Coco Taxi right there. I'm out of practice. I haven't filmed in a good minute. So I'm going to pop this into my crease and just blend it out with windshield wiper motions and little swirls. I really love how pigmented this palette is. I've only dipped in twice and it's already showing up and plus it blends out so nicely. I really, really like this palette. So I'm going to do the other side. Sorry if I look down. I'm going to try and use my mirror so I can see what I'm doing a little bit more. And hopefully you guys can still see what I'm doing as well. I usually zoom you guys in even closer, but I know sometimes I can get out of frame and it's just harder to see because I like to focus on my hand. Um, I'm not good with camera settings, so I don't know. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Would you rather me do it like this this year whenever I do tutorials where it's a little bit farther out but still close, like you can just see my face in the frame? Or do you want me to keep zooming in if you get a little bit of like zoom on the hand but can kind of see what I'm doing still you prefer that um just let me know in the comments I need your guys' feedback it really does help me out I get so many conflicting comments and I don't know what to do so I just kind of do with do what I think is a good and what I would want to see if I was a viewer you know what I mean um but yeah all right so next I'm gonna dip in to the shade Tropico it's this really pretty orange like a red orange and now that's really pretty and i'm gonna put this in my crease as well but also it's gonna go on my lid just because of the brush um it doesn't matter because i don't want to take it too high up but i do need it to blend out these this shade especially like you can see how pigmented it is so now i'm gonna do the other side and do the same thing so so pretty like Whenever I go on my honeymoon, I think I might take this palette and use this, like, every day. I know people have told me, like, oh, you weren't going to do your makeup. So we're on a cruise. Um, I've never been on a, okay, I haven't really been on a cruise. I went on when I was, like, one. Every time I tell my family I've never been on a cruise, my mom gets, like, so defensive. And she's like, you went when you were one. I'm like, I don't remember it, though, so I don't count it in my head. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, we're going on a cruise, um, after our wedding in May. I think we're going to, like, the ports. We go out of Tampa, and we're going to, um, Grand Cayman Islands, Mojave Bay, Belize, and Mexico. Um, we have something to do, like, every day except at our first port in Mahogany Bay. And I don't know what to do because, like, all the excursions were, like, stingray encounters or dolphin encounters, which... We didn't really care for because they're really expensive and two I hate stingrays like they terrify me so we didn't want to do that he didn't want to either um get an option for like wave runners which that sounds like a lot of fun and I love like wave runners and jet skis and things like that but it was really expensive and it had mixed reviews so if you guys have been on a cruise um 
Let me know what we should do. Like, is there an option to just not book an excursion and you kind of do your own thing, like in the water, like on the beach near the port, and maybe shop around? I don't know if that's super dangerous. So let me know, cause to be honest, I'm like completely lost on what to do if that makes sense. So yeah. All right. So next. Oh gosh, how am I gonna pronounce this? I'm gonna dip into the shade. I don't know. I'm not gonna guess it. It's the pink berry shade right here. And I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M411. And we going to pop this into the lower crease. And just, again, once you wipe your motions. But I'm not gonna blend this up into the pink at all. Um, if I get closer, you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Just going in. So there's definitely like pink, but it's not like, hopefully not too high up and overpowering the look. But I still want to get that warmth of the orange. And I'm going to go back in with the M433 and a little bit of Coco Taxi and just blend over where those two shadows meet. Just to make sure it's a little bit more blended. And then same over here. They just blend so nicely. Like, look at that. I know $28 may seem like a lot, I guess, for eight shadows. I guess it might be. I mean, it's a little over $4 a shade, which I don't think is that bad, to be honest. But um, I know everyone obviously has their different budgets, so it kind of just depends on what you're willing to pay. Personally, I really like it. I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you have BoxyCharm, I feel like a lot of people do now. You probably receive this palette if you've been doing it for a while. Um, I'm going to spritz with some Mac Fix Plus my JH41 brush. So I'm like turning behind because my cat is literally, <laughs> he wanted to be up here by me. So I put my little bench for my old vanity right next to me. And he's sleepy. Let me show you guys. Look how cute. He's such a cutie. Sorry for that. You probably have you probably like, who cares? Anyways, so I wet that and I'm gonna go in with this shimmer up here. So the other day I went in with this pretty blue and oh my gosh, I really loved it. Sorry my camera took forever to come back to me. Um, I'm gonna go in with that top shade that I pointed to and pack this all over my lid. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit more. My cat is like not having it. it keeps like glaring at me. <laughs> Poor guy. He's like, I just want a nap. I keep packing. All right, so I definitely got some fallout from that. So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep that away. The nice thing is, is it does sweep away pretty well. So that's good, because I know some palettes can be like a pain in the butt, like the glitters in them will like to stick. But I know it also depends on like if you already um, set your face a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to go back in with the M411 and dip into Cafecito. It's the brown in the palette. I really appreciate that she did put like some deeper shades in here. Um, I think all of these shimmers would pair nicely with like these color in the crease to be honest. I just think it's fun. But I'm gonna go ahead and deepen out the outer V and it just kinda helps blend everything together. Probably have to sweep away fallout again because I did last time I did makeup. This chocolate shade does get some fallout, so fair warning, but I do really like it. All right, now I'm gonna go back in with this taper brush and kinda blend that. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some mascara you could go ahead and use some liner but i'm not going to today i'm just gonna pop on my mascara and then some lashes and i'll do the lower lash line all right so i went ahead and put on my lashes some gloss and highlight um but now we're gonna go ahead and finish up the lower lash line while um, my lashes are still finishing up drying so I'm just gonna sweep on like probably just two colors. Um, I'm going with my JH41 brush and I'm gonna dip into that Coco Taxi, that very first shade, and kind of sweep that under there just so it's not like completely bare. And then I think I wanna go back in 
to the berry shade right here. So this one first is what I just used and then now I'm going in with this one. And again, just sweeping this under my lower lash line. All right, and I'm gonna pop on some mascara on my lower lashes. All right, now I'm gonna set everything first with my MAC Fix Plus. I guess while I fan off my face, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you guys that I'm wearing the Too Faced 2D Fruity Lip Gloss in the shade Grin and Barrett. I actually really like this shade. It's the only one I have from the 2D Fruity line. I really wanna pick up more, especially like the orange one um, and a couple others. I just think they're really good glosses. The formula is really nice. I like the shine. I like how they wear. All right. And then for setting spray, I'm just going to go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter. All right. So that is everything for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure and subscribe to my channel. I will have um, the products that I can linked down below. Some will be like a reward style link because I am affiliated with reward style. Um, I make like a small commission. It's honestly like a dollar or something. So if you guys want to help a sister out and use my links, I would greatly appreciate it. You can also follow me on the Like to Know It app in case you guys are wondering. I'll have that link down below as well. Or, you know, just shop on your own. It's up to you. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and follow me on all my socials, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.